back to another round of Black Powder Maniac shooting. It is Black Friday here in America 2022. A special day for the ladies to go out and find that special deal. Well, for me, Black Friday means get the opportunity to shoot that black powder, black holy powder, however you want to call it. So I've been invited to come down to a friend's house in a neighboring county. He set up 12 or 15 woods walk targets and I'm going to meet six or seven other fellows down there and we're going to sling that lead this afternoon. <laughs> and the best of part is I'm going to take you along for some of the action. started want to remind everybody ear and eye protection is strongly recommended oh can we do this let's we'll see if we can make this happen up a big old hill this old truck going back in the middle of nowhere to shoot today it's gonna be wonderful uh, which way do I go I'm gonna go this way boom Whoa, my goodness. Should make rocks. Slip through this little hole here. Yeah, we can do that. We got some targets set up down there. We're here. Yeah. After a little chit chat and some formal greetings, uh, everyone brought out the chairs and we got the little campfire going, and Stephanie brought out the uh, manwich with some venison in it, and chips and the drinks, and it was a pretty cool lunch for being in the middle of nowhere in Eastern Kentucky. Once this fantastic lunch hour was over, it was time to break out the fire sticks. Civil War guns was there. Several different flint locks were there. Brother Steve and I brought cap locks with us. We decided to change up the pace a little bit and shoot the course History. using cap locks. Four years ago, me and Mark, we come up here and shot, and he shot his little Christmas video right back through there that day. And then the second year, Chris came up <laughs> and, the, uh, and then last year, you know, it was Barry and Kurt joined us, and then this year we got Randy. So, and then that all shots today have 30 grain to Swiss 3F in them, and up to 50 grain on some of the longer targets. But most of them are 30 grains, because I won't flinch as bad. This target here is called the broad side of the barn. This was made specifically for Mark Humphreys because we all know that he needs all the help that he can Amen, get brother. in shooting a <laughs> target. This is the broad side of a barn. So you get a point rounded down you know, then. What you got? But didn't I hit that thing yeah, way high? Got, you're high, high, oh, yeah, high above the window. One inch low and one inch low. <laughs> Maybe two or three. Oh, you hit something way yonder. Yeah, that's what I, I saw it too. <laughs> All out past the bar. That was a... You moved it a little bit, I think. think it, Did you hit it? Yeah, it's moving. I think it was a bit. Wow. Awesome. I need to hurry up and shoot that while it's wiggling like that, Barry. I, I can take a hit it. He double loaded. Yeah. I had an old man tell me, oh, they don't shoot 900 feet per second. Oh, There's some guy that shows up on this and boards once in a while. How you can't That's have, it. You can't have a squirrel with him to go see his wife. For me? Yes! I mean, yes. Don't know. They've never talked about it. You got it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, you made it dance. Good that one, that was a nice. Right where I told you I was going to hit. Just left of the square. Stuff on the board. Hit, that way if I is this one of those round board. down things? He hit, he hit the board. Round up, round down. Yeah. Yep. 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 Well, you put 
put the spanking on that one. That was easy. Oh, that was easy. That was a... It moved it a little bit, I think. It's moving. Yeah, it's moving. I'm going to shut down for COVID. Oh, you made it dance. Good that job. Was, that was a nice um, Nice shot. Condition. Solid. Yeah, that was. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Just under. <laughs> Just under. About three yeah. inches. Yeah. With all these different targets, and some of them tough and some of them aren't, and the various guns that were being used, it didn't take long for the razzling to get started with each other. <laughs> That's the best part of these type shoots, the camaraderie of fellow shooters. This station had 10 toothpicks sticking out of a tree. We're shooting them at 7 yards away. Oh! Hey! <laughs> yeah. He did it! I even had my eyes open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got it. No problem. Oh, uh, uh, we, we, we weren't. We weren't. We weren't recording. We weren't. We might watch. Oh man, I can't believe it, brother Barry. I actually hit one. Yeah, but Bowen's rules. Bowen's rules work. If I was, my rules. You know, been in, <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother Bowen here. He's uh, a little nicer. <laughs> Oh, still there. He went just on the living so, color. Another hang fire. Yeah. Did the National Weather Service? I did it's moving. Yeah, it's moving. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah. Humphrey just the reason why I left that flint gun at home. Just cleaning my clock. <sighs> Using a 32 caliber flintlock rifle, Randy put the spankings on these targets today. Hit, hit. You hit it. Oh, you yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it. Yep. Oh, I love it. Good job. That's right there, buddy. Boy, you spiked that right in the middle. Good hit. Thank you, thank you, Mike, to Mark. Whoa! Got him! Yes! Got him! I have a prey in Carmel, Indiana. I'm not going to be able to... Hey, Mark. <laughs> yes! Edit me out of this video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do that. Yeah, that oh, he broke it again, Barry. I know. Gosh. Those modern flint shooters. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, the razzling even continues late into the afternoon. <laughs> Underneath it, I think. He, uh, he's only doing good. Is that it? You want to buy a rifle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> if you miss the whole county. <laughs> 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 They'll be there. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever double loaded. <laughs> I've done that a few times in my days. I can't believe you had a double That's loaded and you still missed. Done. What is up with that? I can. The flint lock. That's why I left mine home today. I want to at least have some kind of chance of beating you all here. Yeah, well, my cat balls. Okay. Hey! Nice. Yeah. Whoa! Got him. Good hey! shot. Got him. Score! Something that close I can hit with this. Awesome. Something that close I can hit with this. Awesome. 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 Awesome.
got one. one of them. <laughs> right. I got to go sit, sit, it down. sit it. Is that a half point round of down, Barry? A half point round of down? Yes. I'm the king shooting course here. One. I should have got a half point round of down on that one anyway. The point. We, go, we are next time we're gonna revise this and the king or the queen comes up here and supervises oh. this. She's the boss lady. Yeah. yeah. Next time. Man, that thing sounds like a beast. Yeah. I loaded it hot. I, I bet I, you I, did. So so that theory doesn't count. <laughs> you try yeah, to get the yeah. powder to knock them rubber bands out. <laughs> You had that loaded hot too, didn't you? Yep. Side theory don't yeah. work. Side theory doesn't work. <laughs> I, and then I hit it. You had that Nothing. loaded hot too, didn't you? Yep. Wow. Nothing. So that don't make no difference. There's not. An, I guess you still don't have enough powder coming out of it. To... <laughs> Stephanie and Stephen presented the winners with these three fine-looking trophies. Sunrise, Kentucky, Black Powder, Black Friday shootout on November 25th, 22nd. There were 16 possible points if you count the multiplier in the first target. Here we go. Starting off with third place goes to Mark Humphrey. Oh. Never gonna live this one down. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah! Yeah! Mark. All right. Oh man, here we go. Second place. <laughs> Hold a minute. Hold a minute. Sure. <laughs> I will I want to add to it, Mark, out of a total of 16 points, had a score of four <laughs> on the track too tough to tame here at Sunrise Kentucky. <laughs> Next up is your host. What score of seven did you get? <laughs> These were not shot at. I didn't even have time. I was still hanging them up yesterday. And I want to announce this because I really think this is cool, folks. Randy Johnson, he's our oldest member here today. He was shooting a 32 flintlock. I mean, me and Mark Humphreys cheated a little bit shooting cap guns. And he literally stomped our tails. A score of 10 out of 16. Awesome. Here there you go. Two tough to tame. Congratulations, oh, Randy. Thank a good you very much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> also, want to say thanks to they did Stephanie yeah. down there, though. You and Stephen for putting this stuff. on because I know he spent a couple weekends hanging targets and sawing stuff. So, thank you, too, for putting this fun thing on. Yeah. I yeah. had a good time. I know all the rest of you guys did too. So. Had a blast. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all much for having us. Thank y'all. Had a fantastic time yesterday at Stephen and Stephanie's place. I'm sure Barry, Kurt, Chris, and Randy also had a good time. You know, if you have a piece of property, have a little bit of woods on it and a safe place to shoot, you ought to set up your own little, just simple woods walk. They don't take much to entertain block powder ground. We had a fantastic day shooting at those little small targets and some bigger ones at distances. Regardless, it's what it's all about. It's the camaraderie of shooting with fellow friends. Thanks for watching. And remember, Jesus does love you. And we'll catch you on the next adventure. Wherever that takes me, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you next time.